Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick Nanji. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about Gilligan's Island. I'm also going to release to you the winner of the last Gilligan's Island Season 3 DVD giveaway, so make sure to watch the entire video to see if you've won. Now, I'm going to be talking about the episode Ring Around Gilligan. Now, they had a very special guest star. His name was Vito Scotti. Now, Vito Scotti also made a couple appearances in Season 1 as the Japanese sailor. And later on in seasons two and three, he played the character of Dr. Boris Balenkoff. Now in one of them, he of course played the one where everyone switched bodies. But in this one, I'm going to be talking about the one where he has these magical rings that he can control with a remote control and make him do pretty much whatever he wants. Now this isn't a proper video highlighting Vito Scotti's work and all the shows he was on. It just recounts a very interesting situation that he had because in this episode he did have an interesting co-star. He wasn't human, he was actually a really cool monkey. Now he has a very cool story to tell about this monkey and it kind of affected his performance in many different ways. Now Vito recalled how he used to get his fingers and arms gnawed on by the monkey and he used to kind of chew on them and it was something that would annoy him so much especially when he had to deliver his lines and act out his character. Now the monkey was sitting on his shoulder and monkeys are animals that usually pick. They Throughout the scenes, the monkey kept picking and picking through his hair, and he recalls, I didn't have fleas, so I don't know what he was picking at. He would pick and pick and pick, and he recalls, he says the words so many times in his recollection, and that's pretty funny. It, right in the middle of his scene, though, he reached out, and he grabbed a third of his mustache. Now, this was his real mustache. This wasn't a fake one that was put on him to make him look any different. This was his real mustache and boom, he plucked it out. He plucked out a third of his mustache, guys and gals. He ripped a whole chunk of hair right off of his face. Now blood of course came out on his upper lip and it was something that was obviously super painful. It was something that caught him off guard because he thought with the trainer on set, that this would never happen, but in fact it did. So what did he do? He hurled the monkey all the way up in the air over the scenery. It was kind of a rash reaction that he had. It was in fact instinctual. Now the monkey flew about 10 feet in the air above everyone and the trainer yelled at him, you could have killed my monkey. So he answered the trainer, I'm gonna kill you and the monkey. And he started chasing him around the set. This looked like it may have been part of the actual scene, but it wasn't. It was a little bit chaotic on set that day. Now, was this something that any of you watching this episode knew about or are surprised to learn? Because in fact, a lot of these animals are very well trained to be on shows like this and unexpected behaviors are pretty rare. There was a rare one with Bob Denver, how he got attacked by a lion. You should go check it out. It's in my Gilligan's Island playlist. But in regards to this one, let me know what you think about this. Was there a way that they could have avoided Vito Scotti getting hurt and injured on set from this wayward monkey that wanted to have its way? I would love to know your thoughts down below. Now I'm going to release the winner of the DVD giveaway. And the winner is... Lisa Marie Sanchez. Congratulations, Lisa Marie. I will be sending your Gilligan's Island DVD set where you can watch all the episodes of season three, including this one. We'll see you next time. And don't forget, guys and gals, be hopeful. Thank you to my Diamond Tier patrons, Andrew B, Ricky, and David D. And thank you to every single one of my patrons where I have exclusive content. Be sure to look in the description below for merchandise, Patreon exclusive content, and as well as playlists where you can find other TV shows and sitcoms that I think you'll enjoy. We'll see you all next time.